Islam asks people to kill a true friend dog which is an abominable act, the material world, living world and flora are the elements of this world. The world is lifeless. Even in the plant world there is a minimal pulse of life. In addition to the presence of life in animals, there is also the ability to eat, roam and bear children. Humans also have these qualities. Along with this, people have conscience and understanding, ability to acquire knowledge and ability to discern truth from falsehood. It is because of this quality that man is in the seat of the best living being, Islam thinks that the place of animals in this world is after humans, by recognizing animals as separate ethnicities. The Quran says, all the animals that move on the earth and all the birds that fly with two wings, they are all one race like you. Surah, Anam, verse, 38, as such, it can be said that dogs are God's special creation, 1. It is permissible to keep dogs for the purpose of hunting, guarding crops, guarding, guarding goats, sheep, etc., guarding houses, shops and offices, tracing the source of crime and identifying criminals. Fatway Mamadiya, 2. Keeping dogs at home as a hobby, taking care of dogs more than humans, and establishing human relationships with dogs is prohibited in Islam. Razalullah, Salalahu Alayhi wa Salam, said, Whoever keeps a dog for hunting or guarding cattle or guarding crops. His daily deed is reduced by two kairats. Muslim Serif, another hadith says, one karat is equal to the Uhud mountain point three. According to our Hanafi Madhab, the dog's body is not impure. So if a dog touches someone's body or clothes, it will not become impure. But dog saliva is impure. If a dog pulls someone's clothes with its mouth, if the saliva gets on the clothes, then the clothes will become impure, otherwise it will not be impure. Ad-Dur Ruel Mukhtar 4. Eating dog meat is forbidden according to all religions including Islam. 5. Killing of hunting dogs, guard dogs is unanimously haram or illegal. Killing mad dogs, troublesome dogs is lawful according to all scholars. Killing dogs in normal condition is unacceptable in the eyes of Islam. 6. If possible, feeding the dog, giving it water, and rescuing the dog if it falls somewhere are acts of reward in the eyes of Islam. A pure hadith declares that an adulterous woman will also be granted paradise for feeding a dog with water, Razalullah, Salalahu Alayhi wa Salam, said, once a thirsty dog was wandering near a well. He was dying of thirst. Suddenly an adulterous woman from Bani Israel saw it. He took off his socks and gave the dog water. Because of this his past sins are forgiven. Bukhari Sharif, the reason why keeping dogs in the house is prohibited is because Islam's strict command regarding dogs is only that keeping dogs in the house is prohibited as a hobby, Hadith Sharif says, the angels of mercy do not enter the house where there is a dog. Bukhari Sharif, and since the dog's saliva is impure, it has been ordered to wash it three or seven times if the dog puts its mouth in a container. There are several rationales behind this directive, first, Satan's influence is greater in dogs. That's why dogs bark during azan, second, although dogs are master-loving. They have a bad temper. For example, not tolerating others, always playing sports, eating rotten and inferior food, indulging in obscenity everywhere, causing people to suffer, blushing at the sight of food, etc. Thirdly, it is said to stay away from the company of dogs so that they do not harm people, because dogs' nails and mouth have poisonous germs. Dogs cannot be trusted. He can harm people at any time. It can cause various diseases including rabies, the Prophet, peace be upon him, never ordered to kill all dogs.